Really excited to talk to my next guest, Shavkat Rachmanov, who's going to be taking on Neil Magny at UFC Fight Night on June 25th. Shavkat, how are you, sir? How are you? I'm good. I'm good here. to hear, man. Uh, first off, just how happy were you to get back-to-back -back fights uh, so close together? Because I know it's been difficult getting opponents. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Um, a lot of fighters just refused to fight me. So and then uh, Neil Magny... Um, Wanted, I heard Neil Magny wanted to fight me, said it on social media, so we accepted the fight, UFC agreed to accept the fight as well, and I think it was going to be a very entertaining, good fight. How quickly did this matchup come together? Because I know there was some talk on social media, but when did you actually sign pen to paper? How quickly did it come together? It took about 10 days. That's great. And uh, let's talk about the fight against Magny. Obviously, he's uh, got a good ground game. He's got good stand-up. How do you look at this fight from a style perspective? Yeah, um, opponent is not easy. He's in top 10. He's a very good opponent. But we uh, started him. We did our homework. And I'm just going to go in there and uh, beat him. Training camp, I know you've been working at Sanford MMA. How long have you been in Florida for this camp? It's going to be a third week now. I came here a month prior, so I can get uh, get uh, adjust to the climate, to the uh, to the time. What was the connection to Sanford MMA? How did you end up training there? Uh, there was two choices. I had two options: uh, American Top Team or Sanford. So I did my homework and decided to go with Sanford MMA. I really like it here. Good. Atmosphere, friendly atmosphere. Who have been some of your main training partners at Sanford? I know it's a big gym, but are there some training partners you work with a little bit more than others? Um, yeah, I uh, worked a lot with the top fighters, a lot of top fighters here, and uh, I was trying to choose somebody uh, either same height as me um, or a little bit taller. And uh, I got, wor got to work with Jason Jackson and uh, Ian Gary. It seemed like you and Brendan Allen are good friends. I saw Brendan wearing your hat uh, to his last fight. Uh, tell me about that friendship that you've developed with Brendan. Uh, yeah, uh, right after my last fight, uh, Brendan Allen asked me to give him my hat. And uh, I told him, sorry, I can't, it's mine. But I'll bring you, next, next, next time I'll bring you one from Kazakhstan. And I did, so he's a very good guy. I have a very good uh, friendship with him. I know Brennan also likes to talk a bit of trash. Has, have you tried to take any of that as well, uh, talking trash? Uh, not really, but we are uh, taking notes. There you go. And uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? I imagine Coach Henry Hoof will, will be in your corner? Uh, I don't know exactly for sure right now, but uh, when uh, Henry comes back, we're going to make a, make a decision. But most likely, it is going to be Henry. What's your prediction for this fight? How do you see this fight unfolding on June 25th? It will definitely be an interesting fight, exciting fight, um, but also depends on what Neil Magny is going to do. If uh, he's an aggressor, then we have one strategy. If, he's, uh, if he plays uh, on the defense, I'm ready to go because I've, I've spent all my life in this sport. So um, I'm ready for anything. They just announced it on the weekend. Kamaro Usman, Leon Edwards, who do you think takes the welterweight title in your division? If it's the fight's going to be standing, then uh, Leon Edwards has an advantage, I think. If it obviously if it goes down to the ground, then Usman got advantage. So it, all, it, all, it just depends on both fighters how they how do how do they manage to bring their fight. Um, but also don't know. I'm not uh, I'm not a big big um, picking guy. Do you feel like a win over Neil Magny, especially a finish, might get you potentially a top five opponent? We saw what happened with Hamzat Chimaev when he got a ranked win. He got a top five opponent. Do you think it's possible? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much ready right now for a top five opponent, but uh, we're not rushing anywhere. It's uh, step by step, we are going to get there. But uh, after uh, my, my, main, uh, my main goal is to win this fight right now, and then me and my team are going to sit down and uh, make a decision. And how many more fights do you have left on your UFC contracts? I know you've had a few fights already. Uh, we just signed a new contract, five fights. That's great. Good to hear. Um, I mentioned his name earlier, Hamzat Chimaev. I know you get annoyed when people make that comparison, but I was curious, what did you make of his performance over your teammate, Gilbert Burns? Yeah, I think um, it was a very equal fight, in my opinion, but, um, but um, Hamzat, I believe, 
got the win because he's more popular. Uh, maybe that's why he he was awarded the win. But uh, first one, I don't know. First round, who won? It could be Hamza, it could be Burns. And then it was it was pretty much an even fight. The third the third round is where Hamza was more of an aggressor. And I think that is why uh, Burns didn't didn't get the win because he played too much on a defense. But you never you never know. Like sometimes I don't understand judge, um, UFC judges and how they make their decision. It seems like you and Hamzat at some point will fight each other. How do you look at that fight from a style perspective? If you were to fight Hamzat Chimaev, <laughs> we will see. The fight will tell. I don't know. I, I know. I know. I know myself. I know my style, but I don't like praising myself. So uh, we will see when it happens. And what do you make of Colby Covington in your division? Obviously, he's a very talented fighter, but a lot of fighters don't like him because of his personality. What do you think of Colby Covington? Um, yeah, this guy um, does a lot of trash talking, and uh, sometimes he crosses the limit with that. But um, but he's uh, actually a very good fighter. And a lot of people don't uh, a lot of people underestimate him, but he's a very very tough tough fighter, good um, good uh, spirit, and um, he 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 showed uh, he showed that in, uh, in the last two fights with with Usman. Some people say that Habib Nurmagomedov is the greatest fighter of all time. Do you do you believe that as well, or do you think maybe George St Pierre or Anderson Silva is the best of all time? I was just curious your opinion on the matter. Uh, all those fighters, I believe, deserved it. Could be called that, but again, I don't know. That I wouldn't say Habib is the greatest. But if if I think he had two or three more fights, defended his belt a few more times, uh, or went to a higher division and got the belt there, then yeah, it, um, definitely he would be he would easily be called uh, the greatest. But I don't think he's done just just enough just enough to be called the greatest. But uh, in my opinion, John Jones would be the greatest of all time right now, especially if he in heavyweight will will get the belt. But uh, that's that's my opinion. Before we get out of here, um, I do I did see on your Instagram that you were at the driving range uh, doing some golf. Uh, how is your golf game? That's a good game. Uh, it was only my second time playing, and um, I like this game. It's a good way to relax and uh, take 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 your mind off uh, fighting. And my last question, kind of tied to golf a little bit, because they're similar sports. Uh, I'm Canadian. Uh, our favorite sport here in Canada is hockey. Are you a hockey fan at all? Yeah, no, I don't uh, follow hockey much. But in Kazakhstan, we have a um, good following for hockey. It's, it's, it's pretty famous, pretty popular sport. Yeah, but uh, I'm not a, I'm not a winter winter sports type of guy. I like uh, I enjoy more of a, a summer. And this is a really great interview, Shavkat. Thank you so much for the time. If there's anyone you'd like to thank, any sponsors you'd like to mention, or any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. I want to thank all my fans for all the support. Um, I want to thank my team in Kazakhstan for supporting me and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of fighters in Kazakhstan. Um, I also want to thank uh, Sanford MMA. So I'm gonna do my best to uh, to make everyone happy <laughs> and keep winning.